and welcome back! Now, in the midst of farming for some mags so I can actually use my demons, I stumbled upon something that I recently, until just recently, didn't know about. There's actually a third casino in this game in Tifereth. And basically in this casino, for the prizes, you can get the rest of the Japanium equipment. So, uh, same old drill, I did the Kino trick and I got the rest of the Japanium equipment for Shadow, so... Now we've basically got two of the best equipment sets in the game on both of the main characters. So I shouldn't really have to worry about damage too much from enemies. Now back in the abyss, there's something we need to do. Hopefully if I've done everything right, then the scene I'm looking for should activate right now. Set is starting to awaken. If you come here before, he'll just be sleeping, but now that you uh, did the right things, which I think you needed to fight Astaroth, uh, Set will now awaken and fly off. But where's he going? He must know where his second half is, but who is his second half? We'll have to find that out later. One, one thing for certain, he did, it doesn't look like he's stay staying in the abyss. Where could he be going, though? We'll have to find out later. Silly me, I forgot to set up Estima. Gotta remember to do that before every video. Okay, let's see, 3 Ace Moon, okay, so next uh, 3 Ace Moon on a new moon cycle, uh, I'll have to do that again. Now in here, we'll find a vast and empty space, but wait a minute, we're being sucked in, what the hell is this? Should we let it? Now if you didn't see Set Awaken, you wouldn't get the, nothing would happen here, but now that we saw Set Awaken, we can let this powerful force suck us in. Where the heck are we going though? Oh jeez, this doesn't look good. But I have a feeling that we need to go in here. So yeah, where is this taking us? Well, it looks awfully fleshy and veiny to me. What, what the hell is this? Hmm, we're gonna have to do some investigating to figure out what this is supposed to be. But I think I've got a feeling. We're definitely inside something that's living. Now, basically, the gimmick of this dungeon is uh, there are long, winding mazes, and you have to go through them to find teleporters, and they'll take you to the next part of the dungeon. Anyways, I'm just being thorough in my searching, so I don't uh, mess things up. I better set up a map or so I don't get lost. Okay. Let's check out this room. Nothing in here. I just noticed these rooms don't seem to have actual doors. Hmm, curious. Okay, so let's uh, try this one out. Go through here, and um, yep, next teleporter. This sh hopefully will take us to the next part of the dungeon. Let's see, am I in a new part? Yep, new part of the dungeon. Let's try this direction. I don't remember the exact path, but hopefully there's at least one part where I can remember the path. And, uh, doesn't look like there's anything in here. Dead end. So, just where are we? It's really disgusting looking, I can tell you that. But, something about this place, something about it, it feels like I'm close to a familiar place. Like... I'm near somewhere where I've been before, someplace important. But what is it? I just can't shake this feeling. Hmm. Well, anyways, uh, in the regards of enemies you can find here, you can actually find a Kerberos here. So if you uh, happen to use uh, your Kerberos in a fusion, you can actually get a new one here. I actually think I went back to an old part. Yeah, well, I wasn't getting anywhere in that part, so I'll, I'll check out more of this part. Nothing there. Okay. Actually, uh, hold on. Let's try going back there again. Haha. -ha. Yeah, so you can actually find uh, Kerberos is here. So if you uh, ended up fusing your own, uh, which I did do. I did fuse mine off screen uh, to get a better demon. But luckily, uh, the demon that I got in inherited uh, Kerberos' is a, a Same Recarm spell. So I've still got something that can revive my teammates to full if they die. Yeah, when you fuse demons, there's a chance that they'll actually inherit spells from uh, the uh, parent demons as they are. Uh, I am so confused. That's the annoying thing about this dungeon. Everything looks the same. 
And I'm pretty sure I'm just wandering around in circles at this point. Yeah, I, I am. Well, if it gets too bad, uh, I'll do some editing, but hopefully I can find my way. Set up another Estima. 3A Smoon again. Let's... Yeah, I gotta do some searching again. <laughs> Sorry about this. It's been a while since I've done uh, this area. Okay, this should be the right way, hopefully. Check this. Check this. Hopefully this will take me to the teleporter. No, it didn't. Great. Just perfect. Then hopefully this will take me to the place I want to be. Gah! This is so confusing. You gotta be kidding me. And my mapper spell timed out. Okay, let's take a closer look at this map. Uh-huh. Okay, I see where I haven't explored yet. And you know what? I think I was right before I just couldn't tell the difference between this side of the rooms and the other side. So, let's see, we take a left turn here. Let's check out this room first. Nothing. Then hopefully this hallway will lead us to where we need to be. Yep, this looks like it. Here we go. That should be a new part of the dungeon, and I'm going to want to set up another mapper spell. I'm not exactly sure how map how long mapper lasts. I haven't really been looking at it. Okay, this I remember this part of the dungeon. This one's annoying. Basically, there's a bunch of uh, teleporter rooms here, and uh, they take you all over the damn place. Okay, if I can just remember which of the exact rooms it was. Okay, is this a new area? Yep, new area. Okay. I want to pay attention to which uh, doorways will take me to uh, hallways. This one doesn't take me to a hallway. That was stupid of me. Why did I do that? There are a couple of important things that you can find here, but there's one thing in particular that you absolutely have to find. Let's see, where did this take us? Hmm, new, ha new area. Okay, I think I'm on the right track now. Go through here. Now, uh, check this area out. Oh, no, this isn't it. It's somewhere around here. This isn't exactly what I wanted to find, but it's where we need to go. Hey, look at this! This, this is the slum building back in Valhalla! We're, we're back in Valhalla! So wait a minute, that must mean that thing... That We were inside Abaddon! That, that dungeon is actually the body of Abaddon! That is kind of disconcerting. So basically, Abaddon is so huge, it, we, he's actually a dungeon. That is kind of uh, surreal. Any other news that we can get today to make this any more surreal? Ha, huh. I doubt it. But, eh. Hey, wait a minute, I remember, Makata, we were supposed to meet him here. Man, it's been a long time since I saw you, but hey, I got Shadow back. Yeah, I know, that's disgusting, man. Well, the elders are dead now, so if I can take care of Abaddon, some of our problems must be might be fixed. Oh yeah, he was going to tell me the truth. Now, that is kind of extreme. How cynical of them. Yep. Well, finally, we're going to get some damn answers here. Okay, so I kind of figured that part. Okay. So far, this is, this is stuff I've already heard. Okay, and this is getting to the part where they were supposed to wait for a savior, but... Basically, they just didn't feel like waiting and decided to make me to be their savior. Yeah. Okay, so far, so this is all familiar ground. Now, this is where it gets into new stuff. They created four other people to help me become the savior. 
Ren was made to be my partner, which is kind of weird. Rocky was made to be the administrator of Arcadia. And if you didn't do the Arcadia side quest, then he tells you that Arcadia was just a, a simulation right here. And Solar was destined to be the anti-messiah, so uh, I could defeat him and uh, make me look better. And Sin was supposed to be my bodyguard. The, yeah, and the others were actually clones, but uh, I actually started as a fertilized human egg. And basically they used all sorts of age acceleration, bio-enhancing crap. And they used a woman as my surrogate mother. But who was this woman? Hmm. So yeah, basically I'm a genetically engineered toddler. Uh, no, I think I got it. Wait, what? What are you talking about, Shadow? Holy shit! There are those who aren't quick to the uptake. Shadow is my mom. This whole time I've been traveling with my mom, and I'm about I'm about the same age as her. This is probably gonna be one of the most surreal days ever. Can you imagine being the main character at this point? This probably is pretty mind-boggling. And Mikata is actually Shadow's father. And he uh, erased uh, mine and Shadow's memories to uh, try and help us. Yeah, so um, he only got half of the job done with uh, Shadow. She was still a Temple Knight. So basically, yeah, the kid that Shadow was looking for at the beginning of the game was me. So in a sort of way, she did complete her mission. Now, the real purpose of this was to get the Mag Presser. This will allow us to materialize Abaddon's heart, and if we destroy that, we can escape. And Mikata fades off into existence. So, uh... Hi, Mom! Yeah, so basically this whole time I've been uh, going around with my mother killing demons. Best mother-son bonding ever? Well, maybe. But anyways, now that we have the mag presser, we can actually take care of Abaddon. We'll deal with all this, uh, confusing plot issues later. I can't imagine what it's like to be the main character at this point. Can you imagine this? Just finding out this whole time, uh, a girl who is about the same age as you as your mother. And hey, it's Madam. Now, uh, we actually came here with our own will. And Madam's starting to be absorbed into, uh, Abaddon. And yeah, the, the whole purpose of Valhalla was to get people they could uh, use in the Thousand Year Kingdom. Now that Valhalla has served its purpose, they just destroyed it. Destroyed it. So, yeah, Madam's dead. And unfortunately for her, her demon, uh, Kerberos, is also gone. Ha ha ha. But anyways, with that taken care of, we need to find Abaddon's heart. With the mag presser, we can materialize it and destroy it. So I'm, I'm not exactly certain where the heart is, but I'm pretty sure it might be over here somewhere. Let's see. No, that's a teleporter. Let's see. This took me back to here. I think that was it. Actually, hold on. Yeah, I think that was the teleporter I took before. Okay. I want to head over this way. And did I go in this room? Is this... Is this Abaddon's heart? Oh, no. Where is your heart, Abaddon? 
Um, hmm. Okay, maybe it is back the way I came. Okay, this isn't the room. I'm losing my directions all over the place. It is really damn cold in my room. Ugh. Sorry if my voice sounds all shaky, it's just really freaking cold in here. Where the hell am I going? Sorry, I really lose my way real easily. <laughs> okay, so we need to find a different teleporter, I think. Let's try this room. Hopefully this will take us to Abaddon. Or his heart, rather. Okay, yeah, I remember this. This is a really annoying room. Basically, it's this big uh, area with all these uh, rooms, and you've got to find a way to the end. Now, uh, certain rooms will take you to a teleporter, which takes you back in the dungeon. You want to get to the stairs at the end of this place. Or, I think, Abaddon's heart. Yeah, I messed up. Let's try that again! This might take a while, so strap in, people. So let's mull over the various re revelations we've gotten today. I am approximately two days, a few days old, and Shetta is my mother, so... Let's see. Yeah, I don't know how to react to this. This is kind of freaky. Am I getting close to Abaddon's heart? Ah, oh, shit, I went the wrong way again, didn't I? Well, thankfully, uh, I was about to say, once you uh, mark your map, you can uh, figure out which way will take you to where you need to go. Hopefully it won't take me too long to find where my way. Okay, so let's check my map. I'm pretty sure the room I want is somewhere close to the center of this place. So let's head over once, twice, one more time, and start heading down there. And crap, did I go too far? No, just barely. Okay, go this way. And here we go, we found his heart. Oh shit, I, I forgot to summon my demons. Um... Should I... Does it give me an... Ah, oh, no, I have to fight him right now. Shit. And now that uh, we use the mag presser, Abaddon's heart becomes visible and we have to fight it. Okay, well, let's summon up my demons first. Okay. Let's get out this one. This one's fairly powerful. And Shadow, you can just attack. Now, with my new armor, I should be able to. Uh... Ah, crap. That was something I wasn't expecting. That could be problematic. Let's see, get out this guy. And let's see, do you have any magic that can deal with that? No, he doesn't. Well, we're just gonna have to deal with that, unfortunately. Hopefully I can silence him. Oh, fuck you. No, no, don't attack. I still need to summon up maybe minions. Let's see, get out Odin. Shadow, you attack, you attack. What, what kind of magic do you have? Tetracarn and Samarikarn. Nope, nothing good there. Hopefully Odin has something useful. Ooh, a critical strike. Hopefully I won't become... Oh, uh, oh uh, Abaddon can rest to restore his health. He's like Snorlax. But he doesn't do it very often, and I don't think it does very much. Anyways, uh, what kind of magic does Odin have? Let's see, Tentrafu, Mudon, um, nothing that useful. Let's try this out. Okay, now I've got my team all ready. Yeah, this guy isn't susceptible to silence, unfortunately, and that doesn't do anything. Mother dar. You douche. Well, now I just have to do the old method of auto-fighting and waiting for this guy to die. He can't do that. Ah, shit. This is gonna take even longer now. Hopefully he'll do that enough to the point where it'll actually backfire on him and uh, lower his defense. 
Because that's what happens when you use buffs too much. They actually backfire and make your stats worse. I believe it's about after six or so times using it that it backfires. I've never actually had it happen to me before, and, um... Well, I don't ever want to try it out to see what happens, because that would be bad. Backfire, damn you! Yeah, this guy doesn't seem to be too fond of attacking you. I've got my all-new powerful demons and equipment, and this guy decided to be a douchebag and buff himself up to the point where I can't really do that much to him. I just didn't remember that this guy could use buffs on himself. If I had known that, I would have tried to get a demon that could uh, get rid of those. Ah, crap. Uh, one of my demons went back into my stock. I have to pull them out. Oh, damn it, two of them went back in. Okay, cancel the auto fight. Did it backfire? Hopefully. I think he used it six times, over six times. Yeah, that this is something that tends to happen when your demons get confused. They'll actually go back into your computer. It It's really annoying when it happens. And yeah, I think his uh, buffs might have backfired since uh, I'm doing way more damage. Than, uh, oh, he's dead. And we get a lot of mag and uh, money and a luck incense, which is useful. Not a lot of experience, but I'm level 60, so that's to be expected. Yep. Oh, so it seems that Abaddon was once an angel. Hmm. Well, I guess every villain needs a little bit of tragedy, but still, I can't really sympathize, sympathize with Abaddon for what he did. So yeah, that was Abaddon. Abaddon's taken care of, and if you want to, you can head back to Valhalla, but there isn't really anything for you to do there. So what do we do now? Um, well, uh, this area is actually, now that it doesn't lead to Abaddon, it actually is its own area. So um, we're going to have to go through here uh, next time, and it'll take us to the next two areas of the game. One of them is optional, the other you have to go to. But even with, with that, well, actually, the other area, the town there is optional, but there is something there that you have to get. The other area is where you want to go if you want to progress with, with the game. So when we come back, we're going to actually go through this place and uh, go to those two areas. So until next time, see ya.